Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Dodderbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us with the IC Station's 18650 powered FM portable radio kit. Model number is GY18971. You can find these on iStations.com website for $19.25. Pretty cool practice kit and a really neat project. Well, let's go check it out. Comes in a brown box. Got their sticker there with their model number, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see, other side. All right. So in the box, get quite a bit. Um, right away, I see a speaker. It's a little oval speaker. Nice. Let's unravel that. There you go. Cool. Of dimension, we do over mini review at the end of the video. So we got our speaker. What else do we have? Yeah, we got mounting hardware. So we got some standoffs, a bunch of screws. Yeah, there you go. Next, we have some directions, which we'll go over. The electronics. Um, yeah, this one's going to be interesting. I'm going to put this to the side. Here's the kit enclosure, which I think is awesome. So for your 19 bucks, you're getting a really cool enclosure here, even a cutout for the speaker grill, for the buttons to tune the radio, um, and I think I believe the charging port here to charge the internal 18650. So it's going to be a fun radio to build. So there is the enclosure, and of course our box is empty. So I'm going to set that aside, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down um, on the surface here a white there, kind of a paperboard so we don't lose anything. And let's go over what's inside this bag here. Now there's some small components. This is a more of a challenging kit. This shouldn't be your first kit. I'll link to that project up there. That should be your first for practicing and building something. But for this one, I would say this should be about your fourth or fifth kit if you're comfortable doing small components. So let's go ahead and pull this out here. Another good radio kit is the Texan 2P3 AM radio. I like that one. Uh, you don't have to do micro soldering with that kit. Uh, but this one you do have to. I like this kit because it's powered by a lithium battery, which I think is great. So looking at the main PCB here, okay, you can see that it has a surface mount IC, which we're going to have to tack on there. Pretty much what I'm going to do is um, put the chip on uh, and tack one corner here and one corner here diagonally. And then I'm going to do like a drag uh, solder method. I put a little solder on the edge of the tip Kind of like this here. I'm going to have a little solder on this iron tip here. I'm going to have this fluxed real nice. And then I'm going to take and just run this across like this. Flat flat blade down. Just going to run that across the pads a few times. Making sure I'm not bridging anything. And if I do, it's no big deal. You can use some solder wick or run the iron in between real quick to remove any excess solder. Just remember, uh, smooth, quick motions. You don't want to be holding the iron on there too long. They recommend no longer than one second, and that totally makes sense. You don't want to overheat this little chip. That's how you're going to do it. I'm going to do this drag method. should be fairly easy. If you look over here, there's a DC input jack with other small connections as well. But there's only two you really have to make. And that's the positive and negative. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so it's going to come in. Uh, so you got positive here on the right and negative on the left. So those two connections have to be made. Those ones in the middle are just dummy connections and really don't have to be soldered in. So you're just concerned with those edge connections, so that shouldn't be a big deal to solder in because you have these nice anchor points for the micro USB jack. So there you go. Pretty neat. Uh, these, these kits are nice. They got really nice uh, through hole uh, joints here and usually minimal flux is required or not even. So uh, it, it'll attach really nice when you start adding your components. So there we are, there's the PCB. What else do we get here? We get a charging board. Now this is cool. They actually uh, have a breakout board for this. So you, I think, align this uh, here as such. This is, you've probably seen these before. These charge with the MIM batteries. And what they did is they connected the wires from this little breakout board to this main charging board. So they're not using this micro USB jack, you're using the one you solder in. Kind of interesting how you have that duality, but there you go. <laughs> so you got that little guy. All right, so I know I got to be careful here not to lose any parts because they got that 
surface mount I see kind of floating around in here. So here's our holder for the 18650. I'm going to be using a battery uh, like this here. This is a LG 2600 milliamp hour. I reclaimed it from a uh, project. Uh, this cost me 35 cents. And uh, yeah, so I got a bunch of these. So I'll be using this kind of battery in the radio when I'm done. It's all I need. It's good enough. So there's the holder. As you can see, we got a pin header. We got a male and female. This is to hook up the display. It comes with a LCD display with a backlight, which is nice. So that's for that. And then here is the display. I got packaged right now. I take it out, but uh, you'll see it in the final. Now, these are all soldered, which is good because there's no way I can do that little processor there. It might be a little bit beyond my capabilities on surface mount soldering. But there you go. There's our display. What else do we have here? I think this is the jack. Looking pretty small. So yes, our micro USB jack. As you can see, the little connections. You only have to worry about those outside connections. Bingo. And then uh, it comes with an earphone jack, which I think is cool. So if you don't want to use a speaker, you can go headphones. I'll let you know if it's stereo. I have my doubts, though there is a left and right channel here. Um, we'll find out. Um, I don't remember if it said that in the instructions. We'll see. Uh, some long switches. Nice. So you get those are your programming switches, volume up and down. It's got 30 step volume. The radio also sports 22 presets, which I think is awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, component wise, these are pretty easy to put in. These switches and the resistors, um, as you can see, simple resistors, uh, simple capacitor. I got electrolytic, I've been holding in my hand. Uh, I guess ceramic capacitor. But this little guy, this is our little IC, and this is the one that's going to be the little challenge. That's the one I'm going to do that uh, solder drag method to attach. Note pin 1 is where the dot is at. Some people mark that, but I don't. I usually work under power so I can see what I'm doing. So that's the little guy. <laughs> that's going to be the hardest part of the project and everything else. So it should be pretty easy. Here's all our switches. Switches seem to be the most. And our pin headers. There you go. So... Yeah, for $19, hopefully be a good project. I don't know, since I haven't built this yet, what's going to happen and how it's going to go together. But we're going to uh, break away here. I'm going to show you something cool. So um, the instructions are pretty basic. I'm just going to open up real quick. You can download them off the uh, website. But just in case they uh, you can get this kit but you can't get the instructions anymore, I'll have them here for you. Let me show you. Okay, so you got your parts list here. You can freeze frame it. There's your schematic. You can freeze frame that if you need it. If you're that techie and you really know what's going on, there you go. And a little blurb about it. It's got uh, two FM bands, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, you can have 76 to 108, or you can change it uh, through the chip, which is pretty easy just by doing a button combination. And you can change it to 87 to 108. Okay. I think to give those instructions on the back here. So this is our kit, um, installation steps, K1, it's kind of just going slow here so you can pause in case I missed something, but it's fairly straightforward. You're going to want to start off with your smaller um, components first. And uh, yeah, and it's talking about uh, up here, a little, we pledge seriously, blah, 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 contact them if you need help. I think I got QR codes here at the bottom. I don't know if that will work on your screen or not, uh, but I'll have links in the description to uh, the files that those give you. And it's nice because it gives you an illustration with photographs. And I'm going to show that to you right now. And then I'll start building this kit here. So let me go ahead and move these off. Oh yeah, and the speaker too. Don't forget the speaker. That's pretty cool. I don't want to spill these. I'm going to set this gingerly off to the right. And I'm going to bring in my iPad here. Now the, this is what I downloaded with my iPad. You can use an iPad, iPhone, or any kind of device that does those QR codes, of course. Most phones. And uh, yeah, so you can go through here and you can see what it does. Zoom it on in. So yeah, 22 radio stations. It can automatically search. And I think you manually tune as well. Built-in 30 level volume. That's kind of nice. Good to see. LCD screen. This has a 5 watt amplifier. Um, so it's got a power saving mode. You actually can turn the light on and off, which I thought was pretty nice. Uh, there's the way you can disable and enable the two different FM bands. Okay, see mono for speaker and dual channel for earphones. So it sounds like we got FM stereo. I'm hoping for that. Cool. 
<laughs> First time I saw that. All right, and then you can search and store with automatic. Uh, there you go, and go through your save stations. I hope you can tune manually. It doesn't say anything about tuning manually, does it? Well, we'll find out. You know, I'm not too worried about it. It's a kit. It's for fun. Learning experience. So there you go. More of our component lists here that you saw in the paperwork. Um, just loving that. It's powered by an 18650. Getting excited about it. Building this one. Haven't built a kit in a while. So, But this is really nice. Um, I'm just going kind of quick here because it does show you pictures. Uh, you can kind of zoom in and get an idea that you're putting the right resistor in the right spot. Um, so you don't have to look them up. <laughs> you color banding if you don't remember uh, what values they are. There's a picture of the IC installing it. Um, they give you some uh, tips where pin one is. Uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's got the little notch there. That's where you're going to line that pin one, two. Pretty simple. There is the USB they're showing connecting all. Like I say, you just have to connect the outside ones. It looks like the three in the middle do nothing. Um, they're not connected to anything. Six pin header. There you go. So you get an idea. It's pretty straightforward. And I'll have pictures of the build process as well um, and my soldering skills. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, this is, like I said, if you can't download this, um, just comment below and then uh, you know, get my email from the about section um, on YouTube or you know, go on my website and uh, I can uh, always email you the links to that file because I saved that PDF file to my computer. Let's get our color back. So there we are. So when I come back, I'll have pictures of the build process of all this going together. And then we'll do a little mini review and maybe we'll do an FM band scan. Sounds like fun. I hope this goes together well. All right. Oh, yeah. I can't forget we got hardware <laughs> and we got this monster case. And it's portable. That's what I like about it. It's a portable FM radio. Awesome. All right, guys. Let's uh, finish this and get to the pictures of the build process. I populated the board with three resistors, a micro USB jack, and the LM4863 Class AB audio amplifier with stereo headphone function, note orientation. Here is a close-up of the surface mount IC soldered in place. Using the drag solder approach works well. Next, I installed the lithium charging board, headphone jack, and two capacitors. Note orientation of the electric lit capacitor. Finally, I finished populating the board with six switches and a 15 pin header. Note, count the pins on the header. If there are 15, do not, repeat, do not cut pin one. The instructions say to cut pin one uh, if for your 16 pin header. Well, I was shipped with a 15 pin header, and as you can guess, I removed my 16th pin that did not exist by mistake, but I was able to put it back in and salvage the project. So let's go to the project on the desk. It's awesome. It works. Had a few little hiccups, but I got it fixed, uh, especially with that pin header where the FM module plugs in. So we're going to do a mini review of this radio and how it goes, and we'll do a band scan with it. Pretty awesome. So yeah, here it is. The IC Stations GY18971 uh, 18650 powered FM portable radio complete. I'm really happy with it at $19. Not bad. I'll have links below to this project. Uh, for you guys, just note that they don't give you a 18650 battery. I supply your own uh, flat top battery. I used a reclaim battery from a modem pack. It only cost me 35 cents. And the capacity in this LG cell is 2600 milliamp hours. Perfect for a project like this. So yeah, let's go over dimensions of this radio. We're four and three quarter inches in length. We're three and a half inches in height. And our depth is one and eighth of an inch. It's a cool enclosure they give you as well liking that. So let's do a little size comparison. We'll bring out my usual suspects. I always have a CC pocket on hand. I'm going to have to zoom this up, I think. Bring it up. I'll bring it back down. There you go, CC pocket. Uh, it's in the morning around 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois for our band scan. We'll see what kind of stations we can pick up. A few surprises, too, in the kit. Um, better than expected on some things. There's our CC Skywave. And then last but not least, we have a deck of cards. Standard playing size. There you go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves do-it-yourself kits from IC Station Land. <laughs> he's the promoter, man. 
<laughs> it's awesome. It's a good company. I like all the kits. They're cheap. They're fun. Uh, you get to build a radio. So that's a cool thing. Building a radio and having it work is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so yeah, there you go. There's your size comparison. So let's go over features of the GY18971. Yeah, keep saying that over and over, but it's fun. Um, so right away you can see the clear enclosure. I really like how they did that. Included this. Very nice. Uh, you do get extra parts after you're done building the kit. I got, uh, looks like an extra switch. Some extra hardware there, some screws, extra uh, male pin header material. There you go. So that's what you, you might get uh, extras in your kit. Um, so there you are. Bring this back down. Do a little close up here. Yeah. So our speaker, front and center, you can see it's got a vented area here so you can hear the sound. <laughs> it's an oval speaker, which is cool. It's two and a half inches in length and an inch and a half in width. Uh, the battery holder is an 18650 battery holder. Of course, like I said, I mentioned I put my own battery in. There's the FN module. It plugs into the female pin header that you install. Again, I had an issue with mine. It said to cut pin one. I removed mine with a pair of pliers instead of cutting it. That's a smart thing because I had to put it back in. And yeah, that was very interesting. <laughs> so if you have 15 pin header, ship with your kit. Do not cut anything. Just install it. It's just the 16 pin headers. You have to cut pin one to make it fit. Yeah, that was a wake up call. Um, so yeah, definitely fun. You got five switches here. Uh, you have your volume control, 30 step volume, which is nice. Programming keys, down, up. And then you have a mute button. This mute button also acts as your auto scan feature. These programming keys also acts as browse features. And it's a cool thing about browsing with these, when you browse and land on a station, it automatically saves it to your presets. Now it mentioned that the kit had 22 presets in the documentation. I found out it has close to 100. Yes, <laughs> um, I'm up to like 77 in here, so definitely awesome. Key combinations, if you press and hold the two speaker buttons while you turn the radio on, uh, that will access your um, FM band. So if you want to change it from 87 to 108, that's what mine shipped with, it'll take it down to 76 to 108. The display will say, uh, show C1, and that will uh, tell you that when you turn a power cycle on and off again, it'll start in that 76 to 108 band. If it displays C0, turn it off, turn it on again, it will be back at 87 to 108. So key combination, press the two volume, well, and then go ahead and press this. But you have to hold these volume two buttons down the same time you're turning the radio on. Now with the programming keys, um, you press and hold both of those, uh, and you turn the radio on, you'll be greeted by a... Uh, numeral B1 or B0. B1 means the backlight will always be on when the radio is on. And if it's B0, uh, the backlight will turn off at a short period of time. So pretty cool. Loving that. So as you can see, the build went pretty smooth. Uh, there's no mounting uh, hardware for the battery. It's just kind of held in there friction fit. You don't want to run the wires underneath it or even to the top or bottom of it. They say you can, but there's just really no room. So what I did is I notched my battery, I don't know if you can see that, I notched the battery holder a little bit, kind of cut it into the corner, if you're careful not to cut the wire, and that way I was able to route the wire right out the side versus the back. So I did that with both um, both the negative and the positive. So I don't know if you guys can see that, I did it also there. And then they don't want you routing these wires under the PCB, and that makes sense because there's sharp uh, points there that the uh, hot wire could get stuck to and short. You don't want to have a fire. So always you know, have your extra wire down away from that. And I routed my speaker wire and my negative wire under the speaker and then down the edge here to keep it safe. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that ground wire for the battery. And then of course the speaker wires are going over the top there. So yeah, and then you got your FM module that plugs in. The FM module has everything, which is neat. It has the uh, LCD display and you'll see when I turn it on. Uh, really cool setup. I got the six switches like you saw, or five switches on top as you saw there. You get the mute, the auto scan. Auto scan works fantastic, by the way. Here's our on off switch. Turn it on. It says I. <laughs> All right, cool. Our backlight goes on and it'll go off for a short period of time. I have it where it goes off. Safe power. Always good. There's the charging board installed. It's one of those simple dollar boards. Works really well for charging the battery. There's the micro USB. I ended up soldering all the pins just for practice. If I can get that any closer where you guys can see that. 
Yeah, it's about as close as I'm going to get. And of course, you got a nice opening to get to that port. And here, our headphone port is FM stereo. Yeah. <laughs> headphone experience, no low, low level hiss, meaning no hiss at all. Um, yeah, FM stereo is fantastic. Strong lows, uh, decent mids, and nice highs. So very impressed with the headphone output. Loving that. And then, of course, uh, down there you can see the IC I soldered. Barely see it because the LCD is covering it. Our FM antenna. Um, so I had an issue with the FM antenna. They did not supply the right screw uh, to attach it, so I had to drill mine out to get it to fit. I don't recommend drilling the PCB, which I had to do, because you could crack it, uh, you could break connections, things like that. You don't want to do that. So what I did, uh, or I recommend you do, is, is go out to like Ace Hardware, if you have one local or hardware store, and just get the right metric um, nut and uh, pan head screw to have it work. And of course, make sure you put that in where the pan head screw is on the back side there. I was going to drill. You can see my little black mark there, but I decided not to drill and just reverse the screw. There you go. You see how I mounted that. So that, yeah, I had to drill mine out, but uh, no big deal. It made it work. <laughs> this thing's awesome. And of course, uh, you saw the back side. Here we are again. Some of my solder joints. It might be a little dirty. I had to spend a lot of time uh, taking that pin header out. Yeah, that wasn't fun once that was in. Um, yeah, so, but otherwise I cleaned up pretty good. There you go, there's our little speaker. It's not, no bass really, it's more of a tinny sounding speaker. This thing's better on headphones. So let's go ahead and turn it on and do a band scan, and then we'll finish this up. It says hi. <laughs> um, FM reception report while I'm turning this on. You can mute, I'll just mute this real quick. Um, neat thing about this radio here is it does very well. Um, it scored well above average. Uh, so we have uh, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. And most analog radios like this here score about 48 stations found in my area. Uh, this radio is a DSP radio. It scored a total of 64 stations found using the auto scan feature. When I manually scanned, I found less. I found about 60. So I went with the auto scan feature. It was actually better. So auto scan, the first auto scan radio that I like, <laughs> it worked very well with this 10 inch antenna to mention that. So you get this short little 10 inch antenna, but it's still pulled in that many stations. Uh, very impressed by that. Um, so overall, it got a good rating, three star rating above average, and uh, three stars on sensitivity and three stars on selectivity. So good selectivity as well. It was finding stations, faint stations in between stronger stations, even on an auto scan or browsing. I was able to find a couple extra stations by browsing, and so my total uh, memory count did go up. So it's kind of neat how the auto scan found some stations. I was probably holding the radio a certain way and I was picking up certain stations in certain directions. So if you know a radio station is one way and you just browse to that area after you get to that preset, you automatically find it and automatically add it. So let's go ahead and do a little demo here. And uh, so we're going to play some music, royalty free music. I have a C Crane FM Transmitter 2 transmitting royalty free music right here 92.9 megahertz. This radio is set to 92.9 megahertz, picking it up. So we'll play that for a minute or two, and then we'll cruise the band, and then we'll give you final thoughts. So let's go ahead and turn this up.
go get an idea for that let's see if we can do a quick band scan let me just pause this turn off my transmitter all right so what we're going to do here is you can go program down as you notice there's a, a antenna symbol there that's our signal strength indicator i may have to hook up a wire i'm going to see if i can go all the way to the bottom I'll hook up a wire and see if we can get better reception downstairs now upstairs of course it was coming in nice and clear downstairs i always have an issue so go to our first station turn it up did i hit mute no i turned on the volume turn it up okay so i have a wire i'm gonna hook up see if that'll help reception down here A little bit. which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead. So you see what he's saying as we put this together. He says the power that the Father exercised. Sensitive radio. It's a classical station. Just pick it up. Upstairs, of course, comes in nice. Presets. It's cool that it has more than just 22. A little bit. And was supposed to go on Tuesday. It has switched like to a bunch of different resorts throughout the times of it being delayed. <laughs> 103.5 KISS FM. 
FM, Chicago's number one hit music station. Lala tickets and Post Malone tickets to Sour. Part you know, the noodle smile. How dare they? <laughs> They've crossed the line, yeah. More sunshine throughout Friday with our high of 88 and a slight chance for some rain showers throughout. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and GMC at nearby locations in Woodstock, Belvedere, and Oregon. Plus now. Now for the star of the show. Have you ever seen such a beautiful chicken sandwich? Soundly, quietly, and waking up refreshed in the morning. Out there, he's smiling or talking to himself, and um, he was. Dad, I wonder if I changed this. I'm so low. Holiday June, I'm gonna get. It's gonna get people addicted to drugs. Cool. Well, there it is. Um, awesome. I mean, actually showing it at 77 stations or some distorted channels in between there was stopping on. Uh, maybe it gets a little higher score, but I'm going to keep it around good. Uh, pretty cool for an auto scanning radio and a browse feature radio. Um, don't know if I show that to you. It's pretty simple. If you want to browse, um, just press and hold. And it'll browse to the next station, which is nice. So Lord, it was the church in the first place. Well, I have two stops. And if it's not um, on your preset list, I'll automatically add it, which is fantastic. So there it is. The IC Stations GY18971. I'll have links below to this kit. Definitely gets a recommended buy as long as you have the patience to put it together. It's not that hard except uh, watching that pin header. Make sure it's 15 pins. If not, if it's 16, you cut pin 1. If, if it's 15, do not cut pin 1. <laughs> and then the FM antenna, uh, checking the fit on that. And if it doesn't fit, you may have to run out and get a... a, a attachment hardware that will work so but no big deal i'm not going to wait from china for one screw and, and a nut so i just got the drill bit out and drilled away <laughs> i don't recommend you do that but it worked for me everything's great i love it. it's a fantastic kit uh very portable um i can take it outside i can walk around with it that's the beauty of it and it's 18650 power using my 35 cent battery <laughs> uh, which i'm gonna know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of still it's great just charge it up and go, and I got myself a little fun here. I love it. Plus, I can just prop it up, show it off, you know, as a something I built. People will ask about it. So that's the best part. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give a big like if you did. Two, if you're into IC Station products and want to see more built uh, kits, radios, let me know. Hit the bell icon. Uh, get notified of future videos. And, of course, subscribe. And three, comment below what you think about this radio kit. Would you pick it up? Does, does it interest you? What really got me was, you know, powered by the... 18650. Um, right away, I'm like, I got to have it to build. And I like the case too. It's really nice. All right. Take care, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.